there ain't no stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Sa ating edisyon ng PBA Throwback, ating balikan ang 1994 PBA All-Filipino Cup. Game 1 sa pagitan ng San Miguel Beermen at Coney Island Ice Cream Stars. Sa kanila ang best of 7 series sa PBA All-Filipino Cup Finals. Kung kayo ay hindi pamilyar sa Coney Island Ice Cream Stars, ito po yung Pure Foods. At ang kanilang coach ng mga panahon na to ay si Coach Jot Reyes. Laban sa SMB coach naman na si Norman Black. Bukod sa All-Filipino Cup title, nakataya din po dito yung rights na kung sino ang mananalo, siya po ang magre-represent ng Philippine basketball team sa 1994 Asian Games sa Japan. At narito ang mga huling minuto sa fourth quarter sa laban ng Pony Island at ng SMB sa PBA All-Filipino Cup Championship Game 1 noong 1994. Ako nga pala si Kino at welcome sa aking channel from the sideline. Games played. It's 
Goliath. Uproar from Cody Island. Rosella with an interesting Spencer. He kept his cool in that play. He came out and helped out against an underneath the basket shot for Ives de Medici. You gotta give him that. It is 91-85 with 5.33 to go. Ives de Medici. Six points. Whenever San Miguel and Tony Island meet each other in the finals or in whatever game they play, of course, his biggest assignment has to be Albi Patrimonio. That's right. Dignadice is missing the second free throw. Still a five point lead here for the All Stars. 529 left. San Miguel, 122 track here. Trying to change the half court game of Coney Island. Rosella, Patrimonio in the pole in the middle of that uh, half court sequence. And now going to low post. Pick and roll play. The sun can have a clear view. What a kick! What a kick! What a kick! Coney Island. Well, well designed play. They broke it properly. Another loose ball foul here by Rochella. Look at that straight about him. And a hook here. Not using the glass. A hook right there. Rochella committed his fourth personal foul. And the total of Tony Island's team fouls is five. San Miguel here already with nine. Tony Island is now in the penalty situation also. Rosella hoping to draw the ball there. Nine of the shot clock. Alan Yes! And a three-point shot. You see that rotation that they had to do. Alvin Pagimoni has to come out to try to stop that shot. But again, Kaidik hits it. And this change of defense on the part of something else. They're hoping to be able to throw the uh, uh, Island uh, All-Stars off track during the half court game. But they're very patient. Four minutes, 25 to go. Six on. Shot clock down to four. And we get with a height. Bovaren blows it down. 93-89. A four point lead by Tony. Nobody is sitting down on the bench of Tony Island. Island. They're all on, on their feet. Yeah. All the players, including Ravenna, who's injured. Jerry! Yeah. You can rely on him. You've got a friend in Jericho Villa. That's right. 95-89. 3 and 30 remaining. By then, inside to Renato Augustin. To Nicola Dice. Got it. I'll be saying being taken out by Kevin Ramos. 89 with 3 minutes and 21 seconds to go. Same winning percentage, 2 out of every 3 games, 2 coaches talking to each other. Leaves rolled up already here for uh, Jock Reyes. Marcella trying to alter the tempo, 3 minutes 15 to go. Well, they have the lead, and so certainly you want to use the clock. There's no rush because you, you know where you want to go to anyway. We'll go first. Romare with a beer spin, Ivan Ilista, trying to put it up. Keep it in, and where is the goal? And they have, with that loose ball recovery, and a fresh 25 second shot clock. Next on, Ivan Ilista makes two. Oh, no fall. And we'll have another loose ball foul downstairs, called on. It looks like it's Jerry Codignera. Number two on St. Jerry Codignera. I give up one before the two minute shot clock comes around. I'm not taking no charity. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining in game number one. Rosella the Sun combination doing wonders here for Tony Allen in the second half court is. And I say goodbye, uh, Rosella with a 
big, wow, 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 fly there. <laughs> yes. Omar and Ramaz. Well, Fritz from his ass and the big man of the Miguel holding up here. Tony Island fueled by emotion and they have 8.3. That's the last two minutes of my now, Rebecca. The big man of the Miguel Brandy. The big man of the Miguel Brandy. The big man of the Miguel Brandy. Still a minute and 52 left. Yeah, Sara had a good look at the hook that time. Alvin Ben has come in replacing Pobaran, so the big man boy with uh, the spirit as the point guard. This time is not being replaced here by Capacio. I would love to say it, that Rosella, like he never graduated from college, but he has that spirit, which is very important in a game. Fernandez, trying to take it strong against Papimoglo. Can't find a way! 97, 89. If you just joined us, the San Miguel Beerman at the beat of as much as there. 74 to 64 is the count of the 352 mark of the third. A minute and 25 left. Talk of shifting momentum, changing tides. Three on the shot clock. Lamasha lets it fly. And that play will continue. A minute and nine seconds remaining. It is 97-89, Coney Island. An eight-point lead. And since they are in the penalty, that foul by Rosetta will send Agustin to the free throw line. But a minute and seven left in this ballgame. No problem with the first. It is 97 90, a seven pointer, a minute and seven. In any event, we'll have game two come Tuesday. And those free throw shots with San Miguel Ness here, especially in the fourth quarter, hurting them. They missed four. They're down by seven. Less than a minute. Patrimonio. Outside the